Hello guys and welcome again to another episode of Football Roundup where we give you the freshest update on football from every angle of the planet. Yeah. Yeah. Atletico Madrid have officially terminated the contract of Diego Costa. Lionel Messi and Luis Suarez could join Inter Miami in 2022. Ronald Koeman admitted that Barcelona's chances of winning La Liga are getting slimmer than ever before. Juventus set to offer a new contract for Dybala, but will sell him if he refuses. Real Madrid won't make any signings in general transfer window. And before we move ahead to have an in-depth view of what made news of the day guys, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and we are good to go. Striker Diego Costa has officially left Atletico Madrid as a free agent following termination of his contract. The statement was released on Tuesday morning which confirmed that the striker had requested his release and the club had agreed. 32 year old Costa has fallen from prominence at Atleti in recent times following the summer arrival of Luis Suarez from Barcelona who is now the preferred central striker alongside Jao Felix in attack. It is claimed that while personal reasons are the official reason for Costa wanting a move, his primary concern is a lack of first-team football and would want guarantees at his next club. According to a report from Catalonia Radio, Lionel Messi and Luis Suarez could resume their partnership in Major League Soccer in 2022. Two days ago, Lionel Messi was interviewed by Spanish journalist Jode Evole and the Argentine superstar said he would like to live in the United States and play in Major League Soccer at some point in the near future. His words made a big splash right around the football world and now there are hints that it could be in Inter Miami who make Messi's wishes come true. According to Catalonia Radio, Barcelona's number 10 could join Inter Miami in 2022. The franchise co-owner David Beckham is planning to lure Messi by also bringing in Luis Suarez, one of Barcelona's star's best friend. The world-class players first link up in 2014 and were inseparable on and off the pitch until Suarez moved to Atletico Madrid this summer. During the interview with Evole, Messi said that the sudden departure of Luis Suarez was one of the many reasons he decided to send the legal notification to the club, saying he wanted to leave FC Barcelona. His demand to leave was of course denied by then-president Bartomeu, who held him to the club's interpretation of their agreement. Messi, though, will now become a free agent on June 30, 2021. The Argentine says he has not decided whether he will renew his contract with Barcelona or start negotiating with other clubs, something he is allowed to do starting 1st January 2021. But the MLS option appears to be one that Messi finds tempting, and linking up with Suarez once again may make it even more enticing. Luis Suarez's contract with Atletico Madrid expires in summer of 2022. Will Inter Miami be able to put together a package to bring both players across the pond and allow them to resume their partnership in the United States? Ronald Koeman knows that Barcelona's chances of winning La Liga Santander title are slimmer than ever before. The Catalan struggles this season worsened on Tuesday evening as they slumped to a 1 1 draw with Eibar in the absence of Lionel Messi, leaving them still one way adrift of Atletico Madrid and Real Madrid. I'm realistic. Winning the title is complicated, Koeman admitted after the game. Nothing is impossible, but we have to recognize the distance. Atletico look very good to me. They are very strong and they don't concede many goals. Without Messi and Gerard Piquet, Barcelona were left wanting all over the pitch, but the Dutchman doesn't believe that they needed more leadership. I don't want to say that we lacked experienced players, Coman said. There is a transition in the team and we have injuries too. We are playing young players, but today we have 5 or 6 young players and players with experience too. We miss Leo, who makes a difference, but the feeling now is that we should have won. We had chances, missed the penalty and gave away the goal, which was their only shot on target. In Messi's absence, Usman Dembele was the standout in attack, which impressed Coman, but Felipe Coutinho suffered an injury scare. Juventus are set to offer Paolo Dybala a new £9 million per year contract until 2025, but the club will sell the star Argentine if he refuses to accept it. Dybala, who was linked heavily with Tottenham Hotspur last season and is a potential target for Manchester United in the upcoming transfer window, has struggled for form this season. But a new contract offer suggests he is still firmly in the plans of boss Andre Pilo. Juventus chief football officer Fabio Paratici is now waiting for Dybala's agent, George Aunton, to fly out to Italy to begin talks over the contract. According to Sky Sport Italia, the contract offer is the maximum amount that Paratici and Juventus are willing to invest in the forward, with Dybala already on a lucrative contract worth over £6.8 million per year until June 2022. Dybala has struggled with injury and form this season, scoring just once in eight league appearances for the old lady overshadowed by the goal-scoring prowess of Cristiano Ronaldo and Alvaro Morata. He has also fought off coronavirus having tested positive back in April. But Juventus' belief in a player, along with Dybala's love for the club, could be what allows them to come to an agreement. 
If the Argentine refuses the offer though, the 27-year-old will be put on the market. Former Juventus manager Fabio Capello believes the forward struggles have stemmed from his coronavirus diagnosis. The return of Kubo is ruled out in the winter window and the short-term loan departures of Isco, Marcelo and Jovis look unlikely but not impossible. Real Madrid will not make signings in the January transfer window. Head coach Zinedine Zidane has not asked for new reinforcements to his squad for the remainder of the current campaign. Madrid are prepared to wait until next season before adding new faces to their squad as long as the coronavirus crisis settles and allows the club to return to level of revenue previously generated. Los Blancos don't expect any departures this January either. Isco requested a move to rejoin Julian Lopetegui at Sevilla, but Zidane blocked a loan deal to the Andalusian side from going ahead. Madrid will allow Isco to leave next summer, with Sevilla expected to be quoted a fee of between 15 million to 20 million euro for the midfielder. Thanks a lot for watching guys and please don't forget to comment, like and most especially subscribe to always ensure updated news in the world of football comes to you.